I am the manager at OEC Computers. When I open SAP Business One to start the day, I see the main screen, which is called the cockpit. I place information that I care about and helps me perform my job. I have some KPIs around sales and gross margin, dashboards, shortcuts to windows I use on a regular basis, and much more. I spot the gross profit KPI in red. When I take a closer look, I can see that the amount for the month compared to the target is pretty close. And more importantly, it's higher than last month. So we are in good shape and on the right track with gross profit, considering the month is not over yet. Therefore, no action is needed. It's close to the end of the quarter and I want to get as many opportunities closed as possible and increase my total sales. I'm looking at two count widgets that list open opportunities in the lead and quotation stage. Very quickly, I can open a report of opportunities in the quotation stage. Looking at recent opportunities, I spot one that I predicted to close last week. The count widgets are based on simple queries and I can easily create these reports and place them on the cockpit. Plus, I can actually navigate from the report and drill down to the opportunity itself. The opportunities are part of the fully embedded CRM module and its purpose is to record the sales and purchasing cycle from the lead stage all the way to closing. I take a look at the stages and I can see that Sophie has been through a few cycles with our customer microchips already and that a quotation has been sent. I decide to contact Sophie using the live collaboration, which is a smart instant messaging tool similar to Skype or Hangouts, and ask her to follow up with the customer on this um, open quotation. I can send messages to specific users and also uh, to groups of users. Since I'm using Business One to send the message, I can contact Sophie. As well, I can attach a document to the message as interactive links, so Sophie only needs to click on it and she's in the quotation document. If I didn't have that tool, I would have to use email or other messaging tool and I would have to type in the quotation number and do more manual work. This way, I really save a lot of time and get more value with these interactive links using live collaboration. Thinking of more ways to increase sales, my safest bet is to approach my best customers to do some upselling. I know them very well and I have a good relationship with them. On my cockpit, I find dashboards to help find these customers. Dashboards by nature take a large amount of data and summarizes it in a visualized way using backend semantic layers, which are basically large queries that are organized in a way that is easy to understand and consume. SAP Business One delivers many of these dashboards, but I can also create custom ones right here from the application without the need for an additional reporting tool. I take a look at my top five best customers, focusing on the top one, which is my longtime customer, MaxiTech. The dashboards are not static, so I can actually drill down and get more data relating to each column. So I open the Customer 360 to check out MaxiTech's overall status.
I see some general data around sales amount, gross profit, open opportunities and service calls for MaxiTech. In sales data tab, I noticed that order fulfillment has improved a lot this year. So I can assume Bob at MaxiTech is pretty happy with our service. I also notice his receivables are down from last month. So I decide to open the account and give him a call. The activities are available throughout the system, allowing me to record any interactions with customers and vendors. I identify it's a phone call regarding sales of printers. The activities also show up in the built-in calendar similar to Microsoft Outlook. As a manager, I can also see my subordinates calendar if needed. While on the phone with Bob, he agrees to place an order for some items. I create a new sales order from the activity and the system instantly recommends which items you should get. SAP Business One has capabilities similar to common retailers' websites such as Amazon to learn the buying patterns based on historical purchases and recommends appropriate items. Yes, right here in my very own ERP system. In addition, I can recommend to Bob that other customers bought together with these items, again, similar to Amazon. Once more, once again, in a quick call with Bob, I added some additional sales to the company. Now I just need to repeat it a few more times. Bob mentioned he urgently needs some ink for his printer for tomorrow. So I enter tomorrow's date and choose the item. But I notice that I don't have enough quantity available. I confirm I will do the best I can to deliver on time and finish the call. Bob is important to me as a customer, and I want to see if there's anything I can do to expedite the shipping. I will open the delivery schedule management from the sales order, which provides me full transparency into my order fulfillment status and see that I can delay another order for a smaller account in order to get all the items to Bob tomorrow. I will go ahead and make the change, confirm it, and I'm all set. This got me curious about how items are selling from the beginning of the year and compare them to last year. I previously created an Excel report using the same semantic layers I used to create my dashboards and KPIs. Since it's based on Excel, I can incorporate my Excel knowledge to make the report more robust by adding my formulas and formatting. I place the report shortcut in the common function area. The report shows me item sales by item group for current year compared to last year. In the afternoon, I get an email from one of my customers named Louis requesting confirmation of a bank transfer. 
I don't have the invoice number of, or even the customer name, just his name. So I use the enterprise search, which is a Google-like search for my ERP system. I filter the results to show me just closed invoices. Restricting the date to this year. And I find the invoice I was looking for. With the information at my fingertips, I can take a look at any items related to the documents, like orders and deliveries, as well as the customer account. I open the actual invoice and the relationship map to see if indeed a payment was received. This shows me the total flow of the sales cycle, starting from the quotation all the way to payment. Now I can open the payment confirmation and simply email it to Lewis. It's near the end of the day and I want to take a look at my cash flow forecast. Since I'm planning an event in June that will involve some expenses, but hopefully will affect my sales positively in the following months. The cash flow forecast gather all possible transactions that can affect my cash flow and displays it graphically with a distinction between incoming and outgoing amounts and now it affects my net cash account balances. It looks six months into the future but I can adjust the timeline as needed. The report lists the documents that are included as well as their certainty level, which indicates how sure am I this money will be paid or received. At the graph, I can see I have quite a few expenses in the coming months that I will exceed that will exceed the incoming amounts. This worries me a bit, so I want to include all possible transactions in the report by increasing the certainty level to seven, which adds open sales orders and purchase orders to the report. Now I can see for June that I still have expenses, but I do have some large incoming amounts I can rely on to fund my event. A few summary words. Everything you've seen is core SAP business one. No add-ons, no custom code written, written, no special skills needed to do everything I just did. This is your solution to run your entire business using native capabilities which are powerful, complete, and totally embedded as one platform for your business.